My most viewed video is my room tour from my old apartment. I uploaded it in August of 2020. And since then I've moved out of that apartment. I'm actually living with my parents now and my bedroom here is a lot smaller. If you saw my old room tour, that bedroom was huge. Like it, it was kind of also a living room. Whereas now I'm in a smaller bedroom that's a bedroom, but it's also kind of doubling as my workspace and sewing studio. And so I have to make really efficient use of the space, but I'm pretty happy with the decor, honestly. There's still a lot I wanna add, but I'm really liking where it's at right now and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Before I get started, if you could comment, like, and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you enter my room. Here we go. Hello. First up is the door, which is doubling as bag storage for me because I have a lot of bags. You can actually see the Goodwill tag is still on it. Oops. But yeah, I keep all my bags there just to save space. And my room is 12 feet by 10 feet, which is a lot smaller than my previous room. It's not tiny, but since I have a really big desk and a queen size bed, I have to be really careful about how I position things to make it work. And this is just a round mirror I got at a thrift store a while back. And then turning here, we have my pride and joy, which is this desk. Since I like to sew, you need a pretty big workspace and I've been wanting a big desk for so long. A couple months ago, I was texting a friend about how much I needed a new desk or a desk in general because I didn't have one here. And then as I was walking home that day, I found this desk on the side of the road. It was outside of an office building with a for free sign on it. It looks pretty office-y, but luckily it's this greenish bluish seafoam <laughs> color, but it actually matches the color scheme of my room pretty well. You can see it's pretty office-y. It has these sliding drawers. In the top drawer, I have sewing stuff. In the middle drawer, I have makeup and hair stuff. And the bottom is just like a junk drawer, honestly. And then there's also a drawer here, which has more like office supply type stuff in it. Zooming back a bit, I keep my mirror on it, which is from Ikea for when I do my makeup. And then I have my seasonal depression lamp, shout out. I have these little cable organizers, which really come in handy, especially with my sewing machines. I have my Logitech speakers, which I really love. They work with Bluetooth, so I can just connect my phone to it when I wanna to listen to music. They're pretty lightweight, but they sound really good. I have these cute little Frank Lloyd Wright glasses that my grandmom gave me at Christmas. And I like to keep my colored pencils, um, some crystals. I don't really know much or care much about crystals to be honest, but I think I bought these in high school and I just found them again and I think they're pretty. Here we have two little clippings that I stole from plants at a semi-abandoned mall and I'm trying to propagate them. Wish me luck. And also for all of you that bullied me in my last room tour for having fake plants, bullying works. Cause now here I'm trying to grow some lovely organic matter. And above my desk, I have this beautiful artwork that I got at a vintage antique store. It's a screen print from the 70s, I'm guessing. And I honestly have no clue what this means, but I think it's really cool. <laughs> and I love the colors of it. This is the best thing ever if you are a seamstress or if you do some other sort of craft or hobby. It's a pegboard from Ikea. And then the components that you buy separately are also from Ikea. I have mine labeled. I just have a lot of my sewing stuff in here that I use often and I want to be, you know, at arm's reach, especially the scissors. These little things slide out. So if I need to use them at my desk or whatever, I have it there. Over here, I have my monthly calendar, which is paper. And then I have this weekly dry erase board calendar that I really like. Uh, both of these are from Target, I think. They were both pretty cheap. And I have these little like <laughs> manifestation Polaroids I printed out um, because I'm studying for the LSAT and I need Elle Woods looking over my shoulder, obviously. It just goes without saying. Okay, and then over here, I have my little vignettes 
these shelves were already hanging on the wall and I didn't feel like taking them down slash didn't know how to take them down without doing damage. So I kind of just use them for photos and little memorabilia. And I really like it because I feel like I did a good job of tying in the color scheme from that art. And so I have this whale um, art that I found at a vintage store a couple years ago. I have a painting that my friend Greta did and it's of a street where both of us used to live near and it's so pretty, I love it. I have this needle punch embroidery that I did, which I really like. I don't have the patience to do it much bigger than this, honestly, but I really like that. And I have this bracelet from when I was at a bar and I was paying for my drink and this older woman said, you need some bling. And then she put it on my arm and I wanted to give it back to her, but she said no. And so now I have it, which is super cool. And then up here I have a little plaque from a choir thing I did in high school, which I'm proud of, more dolphins. I have this doodle my friend gave to me as a gift and framed for me. And sadly it got water damage from my air conditioner, but I still love it so much. I just keep it up despite the water damage. And then I have this cool mosaic I made in high school art class actually, back when I played the saxophone. So yeah, not only are those meaningful objects, but I think the colors look really nice too. These curtains are my mom's. They were just in here when I moved back in. I wanna make a pair of curtains that match a bit better. So that might be my next DIY project, honestly. And then over here, I have a little hook I put up that I just have sewing stuff on. And then I have this little dry erase board, which is also from Target. That's more of a daily to-do list. And I have a picture of me and my cousin from a long time ago, which is cute and makes me happy. And then I have one of these rolling craft shelves. Let's get it in the frame. Also, I made these jeans yesterday. Um, I'm pretty proud of them, honestly. Anyway, there's this rolling shelf and the components are interchangeable. You can pop them open and open them all the way up, which is super, super convenient. Um, this is honestly the first time in my life I've had all of my craft and sewing stuff organized. And it is a godsend, I will tell you. Um, and you can see I busted out the label maker for this too. I will label literally anything. And here is also where I keep some wrapping paper to cut patterns on. Then I have some canvases, my cutting mat. And then over in this corner, I have these uh, cubicle shelves, which are from the Target like dorm room collection. And I got these, yeah, probably six years ago. And I have two different units stacked on top of each other. And on top, I have this piece of art which was above my bed in my old bedroom. And it's actually needlepoint embroidery on top of a mirror, which I just think is so cool. But I can't lie guys, sometimes like I'll be back in my bed and I'll just be chilling, whatever. And it really feels like the face of Taylor Swift just looming over me, like she's TJ Eckelberg or something. And it's not supposed to be Taylor Swift, but it really looks like her to me. <laughs> And then, oh, I have one of these types of candles and I've always wanted one of this kind of candle just because it looks so cool. And I really love it, but it burns so fast because it's three wicks. Like I'm almost through it already, which is kind of a bummer, but I love it. it smells like an Abercrombie store, which is what I like in a candle. And then in all of the teal cloth ones, I have clothing, socks, etc. Up here I have vitamins, prescription medicine, deodorant, AKA the things I start my day with. Over here, I have some books. Most of these are related to Edie Sedgwick. In a way, it's like my shrine. Over here, more books. Down here, I just have like random stuff. This has jewelry in it. This is just a candle. And then these are books that I need to return to the library. Oops. Down here, I have my backlog of journals, which I love. And then next to that, we have my closet. This actually had two sliding doors on it before and I took them off, which was a great idea because my room looks so much bigger. The only downside to that is that I have to keep my closet very organized or else the mess is so visible. So I have my clothing semi 
organized by color, but you know, it's hard because most stuff is patterned, so I can't do it perfectly. Up here I have more books. I have my little stuffed animal from when I was a kid. Uh, some records. Shoes. That bag just has scrap fabric in it. Okay, and then we pivot to my bed, my cozy spot. This is a queen size bed, I believe. Maybe a full size. I, I, I still don't know the difference. Like, will someone tell me? I could just Google it, but I'd rather complain. And then I have these really cute string lights that my mom got me for Christmas that are little rose quartz. And then I have more string lights. And both of these are battery powered, which is cool. Um, I need to figure out something to make this less ugly, but it's not that noticeable. And then, Above my bed, I have these two pieces of art, these two panels that my friend gave me a couple years ago. And then I have all the same bedding stuff I had before from good old Target. Here's a weighted blanket. I actually upgraded the one I had to a 20 pound weighted blanket, which is next level. Like I literally sleep like a rock under it. Yeah, I just have more kind of velvety textures. The only pillowcase that's actually silk is the front one, which is the one I sleep on. And the other ones are just like, you know, satin. And then over here is not that exciting. It's this really old wooden side table that is kind of beat up, very beat up actually. A uh, humidifier. And then I have the book I'm reading right now, my journal so I can journal before bed some lip mask, my retainer, which sucks. And then down here I have this mirror tray just cause I kind of don't have anywhere else to put it, but it makes it look a bit fancier. And I have headphones cause I like listening to music when I'm in bed. So yeah, I guess that's all. Let me give you a full view. Honestly, my room is, oh, I can zoom out. Uh, so there's the entrance. There's my bed, closet, dresser, desk, little old me. Thank you guys for watching. I wanna do more room decor, room styling type DIYs, especially this area. I wanna do something with like art and same with all this white space. So yeah, I definitely have some blank canvas to work on. And if you like this, please like the video, please subscribe. And yeah, I'll be back with more in a week or two. Bye.